Welcome back to another video. My name is Sam from My Ethical Edit. If you guys are new here, I make videos all about how you can be more sustainable in everyday life. I kind of weave sustainability tips through all of my videos, like my what I eat in a days and my vlogs. So if you're into that, then really make sure that you guys subscribe. It's 8.30. I woke up around 7.45 this morning, a little bit tired. I definitely overindulged this weekend. I have a pretty exciting day today. I'm actually meeting a friend, so we are gonna go to a yoga class around noon. We're going to a Hatha yoga flow and then we're gonna have lunch after. Since I'm going to this yoga flow, I'm not going to go to the gym, but I will go for like a 20 to 30 minute run just because I did overindulge this weekend and I definitely feel like I could use a bit of cardio just to get my blood flowing a little bit. So it's been a couple of hours since my run. It went super well. I ran for half an hour and I really pushed myself to go extra fast. So I'm definitely in need of a nice yoga stretch. I'm just about to leave now. I'm gonna leave a little bit early because I do have to stop at the bank. out of the house. It doesn't happen to me very often where I'm out for the full day. I first went to a yoga course with Allison and it was so good. Yeah, I just had a really lovely experience and I'm definitely gonna go back there. And then we went to the package free shop which I'm gonna show you everything that I got there. So the first thing that I got was actually some soap because I don't have any left. I've been using Marcos, really. But I really like this brand because they are made in Germany and that's something that's super important to me. This one's lavender and lemongrass and it just smells really fresh. I got a leek. I got some carrots. I also got a bulb of garlic. Now onto the good stuff. So as you can see, I really stocked up. The first thing that I got was apple cinnamon granola. I got some um, brown basmati rice. And lastly, I just got some fusilli. And I've said this many times, especially in my package read video. I don't buy everything there. I just buy things that I find are cheap, but also that I have a hard time finding without plastic. So Marco will be home in a couple of minutes and I'm probably just gonna cook some dinner, chill, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning everyone. So today is Friday, February 18th, and I've just been having the nicest slow morning. I do feel a little bit tired from yesterday. It was a big day for me. I'm not used to that. In about an hour, I think I'm gonna shower, like slowly get ready and start um, taking some pictures. And then something fun is happening tonight. I'm actually going to see Elvis tribute show, which I never thought I would ever see in my life, but apparently that's happening. It's definitely not a show I would ever like buy tickets for, but we receive them as like a little gift, so. So it's just after 10 o'clock, I finished taking half of my photos for the day and I just showered, got dressed, I'm just gonna let my hair dry naturally today just because I've been using like a lot of heat on it. And while I'm letting my hair dry, I'm gonna sit down for half an hour and just write out some notes for a video I'm going to film. Well, actually I filmed the video a couple of months ago, but it just was not flowing right. It was so unorganized. I was just talking about everything and anything. And so what I like to do in this situation is kind of sit down and take time to kind of like plan my video a little bit better. So things um, flow a bit better. And so that my points come across a bit clearer because I'm not the best speaker, especially when it comes to like 
in front of a camera. I don't know, I feel like I, I have a difficult time getting my point across. Hopefully this will help me and I'm gonna try and film, refilm the video tomorrow or on Thursday. And so I have my second cup of coffee in my favorite mug. I do have other mugs just to let you know. I just, I love this one. So I'm going to get cracking. wrote out my notes for my YouTube video and then it magically turned into a blog post, which is great. I love when that happens. It's much more natural. I don't really like to force my writing um, just because I wanna get a blog post up or something. So here is my lunch. Uh, I could not even wait till noon. It's, it's a little bit before noon. I was just so hungry. I don't think my breakfast was um, big enough this morning or maybe I was just like using a lot of my energy. But I have this yummy looking omelet with um, loads of veggies. So there's zucchini, tomato, there's a bit of feta cheese, some leek and some spinach. And then I have an avocado toast. Not gonna lie, I just ate one as well. So two avocado toasts. And then I have some carrots hiding under there. And this little sauce here is like a spicy chili lentil sauce or something. I just need to really um, use it up. I'm going to dip my carrots into it and maybe eat it with my eggs. And so I will see you guys later tonight. feel like an absolute zombie today. I'm really tired. I can see it in my face, especially my eyes. The show last night was really fun. I'm happy that I went because I would have never pushed myself to go to see something like that. Um, but turns out it was not just a tribute to Elvis, but there are lots of other artists from that time, uh, like Johnny Cash, there's the Cento sisters, and Jerry Lee Lewis's actual sister was there as well. So her name is Linda Gale Lewis and she is so talented. I was so like shocked she was playing um, the piano with her cowboy boot. I'm gonna stick to my routine. I had my cup of coffee, I had a little breakfast and I just took a bit of a slow morning. It's nine o'clock now, I'm all ready for the gym. I'm just gonna go and move my body, just a really light, easy workout. As a gift to myself for completing a workout, I'm going to um, get a Starbucks coffee on the way home. Yeah, so I'm gonna head over to the gym now and I will see you guys in a little bit. I just got back from the gym. I had a really good workout. I also went to um, just my local grocery store because I was running out of a couple of things. So I just picked those up quickly. I found my almond milk on sale. I also ran out of eggs, so I picked up um, just six because my eggs of choice come from El Natura. But these ones are also from a local German farm and they are definitely like a better choice when it comes to eggs. Then I picked up some Greek yogurt in a glass jar. I bought some blueberries and strawberries, which unfortunately are in plastic, but hey, I went to the package free store this week, so it's all about balance. Again, spinach and plastic. If you guys have any recommendations, let me know. And I got a little bread because the bread that we have is going bad. I need to remember to put it in the freezer when I feel like it's about to go off. huge lunch. Um, I love having eggs for lunch because it's just a really good way to get a lot of veggies in I find. So I'm basically having the same thing as yesterday except it's in a scramble and not an omelet. And so now I'm going to enjoy this and I'm going to watch an episode of Handmaid's Tale and then head to work. So I will see you guys tomorrow. I kind of like thought about what I'm gonna do today 
Uh, basically, my apartment is a disaster. It's basically like a tornado hit it. It's disgusting. <laughs> so today's the day that I'm going to vacuum, I'm going to do laundry, turn on the dishwasher. Um, I also have to like take out the recycling, I haven't done that in a couple of days. I'm going to film my video that I wrote out the other day. So I'm just gonna drink this and just chill like usual and once I've eaten my breakfast then I will get into my major cleanup. <laughs> Filming went super well. I also forgot that I had to take a picture, so I did that quickly as well. And now I'm just preparing lunch because I'm really hungry and I thought I would show you guys what I'm up to. So here I have some avocado toast with some cucumber and pepper. And I'm going to top the toast with uh, two fried eggs. And then I also have some spinach and feta, which I'll be adding on as well. Also, I thought I would show you my outfit. This is what I took a picture in today. It's just this really nice, um, it's just this really nice cardigan from Two Thirds Barcelona. It's fair fashion. Um, it's organic cotton. It's just a really nice, simple, like neutral color. And then I, of course, I have my Levi's Mile High Super Skinny, which I literally wear almost every single day. So here is the finished product. It looks amazing. Lots of veggies, just the way I like my lunch. So I'm going to eat this now and then I'm going to chill before work, watch probably Handmaid's Tale and I will see you guys uh, tomorrow and tomorrow's Friday. Good morning everyone, so it's Friday today. So something exciting happened last night. Marco and I booked our flight to Turkey, which is so exciting. We're going in June for a week and yeah, I could not wait. I've never been, but I've always heard really good things about it. I love Turkish food and I cannot wait to be next to a beach. Here is today's random breakfast. It kind of matches my pajama pants, which is, which is really cool. Um, so I just have a little bit of Greek yogurt and I mixed in a little bit of protein powder with some just some raw oats, cacao powder, cinnamon, and then I topped it with some uh, raspberries that I just thawed in the microwave quickly and some blueberries. So I just got back from the gym. I had a really great workout. I went on the treadmill and walked on an incline for 10 minutes. I ran for 20 minutes and then I just did a little bit of abs and arms, but honestly, I wasn't feeling it too much today. Um, so then I just stretched and yeah, I went to my health food store, got everything that I need for next week because I'm going away. And now I'm gonna shower and I'm super hungry. I don't think my breakfast filled me up enough. So I'm thinking of making like a really big filling delicious salad for lunch. So I'm just getting ready for work, but I actually received a delivery from ARC Skincare. So thank you ARC for sending all of these products over. I will show you what they have. So basically this skincare brand treats skin by age and also by skin concern. And they are vegan, cruelty-free, and they are also mostly natural ingredients. So some of their packaging is actually plastic, which is quite unfortunate, but they are a part of TerraCycle UK, where you can bring back your empties, and it is part of like a circular recycling program, which is really great. So they sent me the Age Protect Skin Clear Cleanser, the Age Protect Skin Vitality Moisturizer, Skin Essential Hydrating Beauty Mist, Skin Perfector Anti-Redness, serum and it is for rosacea which is great because i've suffered from rosacea on and off for most of my life hey guys so i am back from work i'm just gonna have like a nice relaxing night edit my youtube video watch handmaid's tale it's gonna be really great but i am hungry so i am going to make dinner the sliding doesn't really make it look good but <laughs> this is my dinner um so i made like a big omelet with lots of veggies now i think i'm going to end the vlog here because the rest of my night is just going to be chilling if you liked this video don't forget to subscribe because yeah that would really that would really help me out to know um yeah what you guys liked what you guys didn't like and i will see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching